Hi everyone, it's Miss Tina again this week here to talk to you some more about our uh, theme this month, which is indescribable. And uh, we're talking a lot about creativity and God's creativity, our creativity. And um, today's Bible story is going to be about um, Esther from the book of Esther. She's got a really interesting story and she had to use her creativity quite a bit. Um, our bottom line today is God created you for a purpose. And of course, our basic truth right now, as always, is I can trust God no matter what. So, and of course, also our memory verse this month, which is, Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. And that is from Psalm 145, 3. And so, what we're talking about today is ways that you can be creative uh, different ways that even you've thought of before. Um, we're going to really work on stretching our creativity a bit. So um, I'm going to first, before I get into the story, I'm going to give you a couple of ideas of activities that you can do um, to kind of work that creativity out a little bit. Um, first of all, you can uh, play a game with your family, either in groups, you can split up into teams or groups, um, or you can have one person uh, timing and the other person uh, doing the activity, it's up to you. You can have more than one person doing the activity and, and, and racing against each other. But what you do is find some common household uh, objects and items and put them in a bucket. And then you have to uh, pick one out of the bucket and you will be timed 30 seconds. And you have to write down all of the ways in which you could use that uh, item other than the way in which it is intended to be used. So that's kind of a good way for you to play a fun game and also uh, use your crea creativity to think about some other ways that uh, things might be used. And then another um, thing that you can do uh, to work that creativity is to make a collage by getting uh, old newspapers, old magazines together, and uh, getting some paper, poster, uh, glue, and cutting out with scissors um, pictures or phrases, things like that, and uh, gluing it all onto your uh, paper or poster board and making a collage. You can even write down the, um, the uh, memory verse and cut out letters to uh, put over those words, and then it would be a nice, fun little collage of letters with our memory verse for this month. So just a few ideas. Uh, for activities that you can do, especially if it's going to be a hot one or maybe a rainy day, you might have some time to do this other than on a Sunday. So to get to our uh, story for today, as I said, it's about Esther. And Esther has a very interesting story um, for many reasons, but for one reason, because she was Jewish and um, raised Jewish, but she lived in Persia because the uh, Jewish people at the time had been um, moved into Persia, and uh, she was chosen to be queen of Persia by the king, King Xerxes, um, uh, based on her beauty. And uh, her her uncle, who had raised her, Mordecai, had helped her get to that place, and um, he was still with her during the time when she became queen. However, there was a man who uh, was raised up by Xerxes, to be the prime minister. His name was Haman. And he uh, was very full of himself. He thought he was better than others. And because he was so high up, it was uh, decreed that all uh, others must bow to him. Um, but Mordecai, Esther's uncle, refused to do so because he believed he should only bow to God. And Haman was so angry about this that he decided to destroy not only Mordecai, but all the Jews. So he went to the king and um, got him to sign a decree, an order to have all the Jews in the nation in, in Persia killed. And obviously this was a little scary. Mordecai was scared, everyone was scared. Um, so before we move on with the story, I want you to think, is there ever a time that you have been so angry that you took your feelings out on the people around you? were not even maybe involved in what had happened? Your parents or other adults may have told you to stop and count to 10 before you act in anger, which is pretty good advice because it doesn't sound like Haman counted to 10 or took some deep breaths, does it? 
So it's something to think about. If you stay calm, pray silently, and listen for God's answer, you will find that you are better able to deal with any situation. So just keep that in mind. Now, after this order goes out, Mordecai goes to Esther and tells her about this, and he asks her to help. And Mordecai, or I'm sorry, Esther, was at first a little bit leery because she said, well, you know, I'm not even supposed to go before the king. I am supposed to wait for him to invite me to him. But she um, was very brave and she uh, gathered up her courage and decided to um, help her people. So she did. She went uh, to speak to the king on behalf of the Jews. And she did all of this knowing she might be killed. However, um, the king listened to her and decided not to do it and found out that Haman had kind of tricked him into signing this order. So he ended up not doing that and he listened. He listened to her even though she was afraid he wouldn't. So uh, one of the things that they did uh, before uh, before she went to the king was they fasted for three days and they prayed the whole time. They prayed to God uh, to help them, to um, guide them in the coming days. So obviously, uh, sometimes it can be a pretty big deal to uh, say some prayers to God. But how important do you think it is to pray before making a big decision? This is a, a, a thought just to think about as time goes on. You can talk to your family about that. Um, and while we're not in church right now, you can listen on our church videos, on our Sunday worship videos, to see um, when our Reverend Carrie prays what she says and uh, all of the ways that you can identify help. Maybe even our minister is asking for help in some of her prayers. So maybe listen carefully to this week's worship service or even next week's. I'm sure that you might be able to find something. So... It's true that we can trust God no matter what. We can trust his plans for all of our lives, but sometimes it can be tricky because we don't know what his big plans are. However, Esther's story is a really good example of how you can use your creativity and your courage on top of that to move mountains and make big things happen. So Esther wasn't the most likely choice to become queen of Persia, but God had a very important purpose for her, and when the time was right, she used the position God had given her to save her people, all of her people. So God has a purpose for each of us too, and you might not always be able to see what that purpose is, but you can trust that he does have a purpose for you. There's a reason that he puts you with the people you see every day, and there's a reason why he's given you gifts, talents, and opportunities, and of course, your creativity, so that you can make a difference as well. So uh, we're going to say a prayer, and then um, we'll be all done for today. But I want you to really think about um, some other ways that you can be creative, uh, creative this week. And um, make sure that you, if you make a, a collage or anything like that, you can um, uh, put it on the FCCRO Kids page. And um, we can all see how you have uh, used your creativity, okay? So a quick prayer, real quick. Dear God, thank you for creating each one of us with a purpose. Help us to keep following after you and following your plans for our lives. Help us make the wise choice and choose to live your way each and every day. We know that you've placed us in different situations for a reason so we can use the creativity you've given us to help others. Help us to trust you and make the most of every opportunity you give us. We love you, and we say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, everyone, have a great week. We'll see you again next week. Bye.